All right, so I just got off a call with Odablock to talk about everything that's happened the past couple of days. The first thing I want to make clear and that I made clear to him was that I was not the one impersonating him with the fake Oda DMM, Oda CC in bracket one. That was just Rot creating the CC in GE, mass recruiting as many people as they could, and I didn't know anything about it. I just joined along with everyone else in the final hour when we were told to do so, and I left it and went back to the original CC when I was told to do so. I do apologize for blacking it out in my video and hiding it when I left the CC, especially to Oda and his viewers who were wronged here. I should have just included it in the video at the very least to show what was going on. It was like a three second black screen. I could have just showed it. So I do apologize a lot for that. Next up, I made it clear to him and now to you guys that I was only in rot for Deadman mode. They're the biggest Deadman mode clan and I just wanted to have the best chance of winning the finale. Many creators have done this before and gone with rot for different things over the years, including the last DMM with them and this DMM with them, of course, obviously. But I'm not here to try and like put blast on them or try to cancel them. That's something that's just always happened throughout RuneScape, but I still do apologize. I shouldn't have been promoting it and giving it a platform myself, and no, I will not be playing the next tournament with them. I made it clear to Oda, and now I'm trying to make it clear to you guys, and he understands that I didn't have anything to do with what they've uh, done or what they said during or after the finale. I was literally just there for DMM, and that's over. I wasn't doing any cheating or anything. I made all my accounts just to try and compete for the finale and record all five finales. And the last thing I talked to him about was in bracket two, the winner from EOP being in Oda's CC. Theo was added to the Runelight plugin, which basically shows everyone added as a purple dot, even if they're not in the CC. And because they had over 500 people, not everyone was in the CC. That led to Theo not being attacked by them. And because he was in the EOP CC as well, he was not attacked by EOP. So he was not attacked by like 700 people. Now this isn't against the rules. I mean, Oda agreed that this is multi and that's what people do. And it is fucked. And it definitely fucked over all of the people in his CC who obviously would have been attacking Theo if he wasn't a purple dot, like if he was a white dot. But because of how the plugin works, they were wronged in that sense. So I am sorry to his viewers who were wronged here. But obviously there weren't actually any rules broken. It was just a scummy way of winning. But yeah, to summarize, me and Oda are cool. He knows, and I hope you guys can understand that the actions of Rot are not the actions of me. I've received a lot of just criticism in my comments and stuff, which is fine and understandable, granted everything that's going on. But obviously, some people want to take it a couple steps further than that with the racist comments. And then a select group of people take it an even steps further than that and just do some completely fucked up shit, which Oda said I shouldn't even address, so I won't. But that stuff is obviously just unacceptable. So I hope it'll stop over time, but, you know, I guess we'll see. Sorry once again to everyone who I've wronged, and I look forward to moving past this and getting back to creating regular content. And uh, respect to Oda for having the call and hearing me out and seeing what I have to say. I really do appreciate that. Yeah.